Good morning everyone. I hope you all are fit and fine and safe at your home. So today we are going to start our English class. So everyone get ready for your English class. Now today we are going to start a new topic in English grammar. And the name of the topic is has Today we are going to learn about has and have. Now, when do we use has and have? See, has. We use has with he, she, it or any singular thing. We use has with he, she, it or any singular thing, any one person, any one thing. When we are talking about only one single person, one single thing or any animal, then we use has. And when do we use has? When we are talking about so many people, when we are talking about so many people, things, animals, then we use have. These two words has and have are possession words. These two words has and have are possession words. Now what is the meaning of possession words? Possession means something which belongs to us or someone. Something which belongs to us or someone. That means a possession. Let's take one or two, three examples to make the concept more clear to you. My first example is Rima has a car. Rima has a car. Now here we are talking about Rima and Rima is a one girl, right? Rima is a girl and here we are talking about only one person. Here we are talking about only one person, Rima. And what does Rima have? Yes, she has a car. It means the car belongs to Rima. So that is why we have used has. So the word has shows that the car belongs to Rima. Let's take one more example. The boy has short hair. The boy has short hair. Now here we are talking about only one boy. Right? Here we are talking about only one boy. And the boy has what? Yes, the boy has short hair. So here the hair belongs to the boy. So that is why we have used has. Now see one more example. We have flowers. We have flowers. So here we are talking about so many people. That is why we have used we now. So we have flowers. Now flowers belongs to whom? We. It means us. So that is why we have used have. Cars have four wheels. My next example is cars have four wheels. Now here we are talking about so many cars, right? And what does car have? Yes, they have four wheels. So that is why we have used has because here we are talking about so many cars. So we use has with he, she, it or when we are talking about only one single person, animal, thing. And we use has with when we are talking about so many people, things or animals. Or we can say we use have with we you, they. Now, are you all excited to do one activity with me? Everyone, do you want to do one activity with me? Okay, so as you can see, I have pasted two penguins. I have pasted two penguins on the board. The name of the first penguin is 
What is written here? Everyone read the word. What is written here? Yes. He. He means only one single person. He means here we are talking about only one single person. Now you have to tell me which penguin will eat he. Has penguin or has penguin? Everyone tell me. Yes. Has penguin will eat the word he. So we will paste it here. Everyone see. The has penguin is eating the word he. Now let's move to one more example. Now everyone see this. Which fish is this? Can you read? What is written here? You. What is written here? You. And you means here we don't know that how many people are there. So that is why it is a plural. So which penguin will eat this fish? Yes. Has penguin. So we will paste the word here. You. So as you all can see. The half penguin is eating the fish you. Now let's take one more example. See, see this fish? Yes. What is written here? Rohan. What is written here? Rohan. And here we are talking about only one single Rohan. Here we are talking about only one boy. So, which penguin will eat this fish? Has or have? Tell me first. Yes, has penguin. So, we will put here. So, are you enjoying this activity? Yes, I know. Now, everyone get ready for my next another word. See this, what is this? She. What is it? She. So, first everyone tell me which penguin will eat this fish. Yes, has penguin. So, we are tasting. We are giving food to the penguin. Now, I think their tummies are full. No? Okay, let's give some more food to them. Okay? Now, see here. My next fish. Yes, girls are written on the fish. Girls, here we are talking about so many girls. So which penguin will eat this? Yes, half penguin. So we will paste the fish here. Now, as we all can see, half penguin is eating very less. But half penguin is eating more. So let's give another food to half penguin also. Now see this. V. What is written here? V. So which penguin will eat this fish? Half or has? Yes, half penguin. So we will paste the fish here. Now let's move to another word. Now, can you tell me which penguin has more fishes? Yes, they both are equal. Now, let's see the another word. The another word is girl. Here, we are talking about only one girl. So, which penguin will eat this? Yes, has penguin. See, has penguin is eating the fish? Girl. Now, let's move to another word. See here, which fish is this? What is written here? They. They means we are talking about so many people. So that is why, has penguin will eat? They. Okay, so I hope you all have enjoyed this activity and through this activity the concept of has and have is clear to you, right? Now everyone take out your English book and you have to open page number 153. Now everyone fast open page number 153.
verbs. As I have already told you, the have and have are known as possession verbs. What is the meaning of possession? Possession means that something belongs to us or anybody else. Now let's read this page number. You all have to read with me, okay? Read the sentences. Read the sentences. As we all can see that given below are two sentences that we have to read. Now read this. Reba has a little cat. Reba has a little cat. Now read the second sentence. Raju and Seema. Raju and Seema have a red car. Raju and Seema have a red car. Now, as you all can see that we have read two sentences. First one was Reema has a little cat. And second one is Raju and Seema have a red car. So, the word has in the first sentence shows that the cat belongs to Rima. And the word have in second sentence shows that Raju and Seema have a red car. Right? So it means the car belongs to them. Raju and Seema. So here belongs is there the so that means position that this thing belongs to them or this thing is mine. So that is why has and have are known as position words. Now can you all see the green box here? Yes. So now read the words written on the green box. Everyone, you all have to read these sentences. The word has and have are used the words has and have are used to say something that we have on own. That we have on own. The, to own or to show a possession. Hence the words have and has are known as possession words. We use has with singular things. As I have told you now, we use has with he, she, it or when we are talking about only one single singular name, person, place, animal or thing. And when do we use have? We use have with we, you, they and I. When we are talking about plural, when we are talking about so many people, places, animals or thing. Now, see here, look at the pictures below and read what Tony is saying to his friends. Now, can you see these three pictures? Here, the boy Tony is talking to his friends. So, as you all can see, there are three pictures here. So, here, the boy Tony is talking to his friends. Now, let's see what he is saying. He has a hat. He has a hat. She has a hat. She has a hat. So, why do we use has here? Because here we are talking about only one boy and one girl. That is why we have used has. See the next sentence. They both have hats. So, it means here we are talking about two people. So, we use have with them. So, now let's do this exercise with me. Everyone, given below, there are some sentences now and we have to tick. We have to tick which sentence is correct. So, everyone, take a pencil in your hand. First, take a pencil in your hand. And you all will help me, okay? You all have to help me and you all have to tell me. 
as we all can see, there are four sets of sentences. So we have, we will read one by one, and you all tell me that which sentence is correct and which sentence is wrong. Okay? The first sentence is, everyone, I am giving you a one minute time to read. What is the first sentence? Everyone, read. The girl has orange shoes. The girl has orange shoes. This is the first sentence. Now, what is the second sentence? The girl has orange shoes. So, which sentence is correct? Yes, the first one. Because here we are talking about only one girl. That is why we have used has. So, put a tick on the first sentence. Good. Now, read the next sentence. The kids has toys. The kids have toys. The kids have toys. Which sentence is correct? Has or have? Yes. Here we are talking about so many kids. So, that is why we have used have. So, put a tick on the second sentence. Now, read the third sentence, everyone. They have a pet dog. They have a pet dog. They has a pet dog. They has a pet dog. Now, which sentence is correct? Yes, the first sentence is correct. Because here we are talking about so many people. So put a tick on the first sentence. Now we are left with only one set of sentences. So read the last sentence. You has a hat and a cat. You has a cat and a hat. Next one is you have a hat and a cat. You have a hat and a cap. Which sentence is correct? Yes, the second sentence is correct. So, put a tick on the second sentence. Good. So, I hope you all have done this exercise with me. And you all know that when do we use has and when do we use have. So, I hope this concept is clear to everyone. And your homework for today is you all have to revise the topic has and have which we have discussed today. And you will read the page number 153 at your 